Hey, I'm Dr. Kent DeLay. I'm a board certified urologist in South Carolina. Men often take oral medications such as Viagra and Cialis as first line therapy for erectile dysfunction. These medications are not always effective and men often become discouraged. Today, we're gonna to review four reasons that these medications may not be effective. One is they're simply not being taken appropriately. So with sildenafil or Viagra in particular, it needs to be taken on a relatively empty stomach. This is because fatty food in the stomach impairs the absorption of the medication into the bloodstream. And if this happens, it's less likely to be effective in causing an erection. Also, these medications need to be taken prior to intercourse. How far prior to intercourse depends on the particular medication, so they do need to be taken as prescribed. Two, men need to be sexually stimulated in order to obtain an erection when taking these oral medications. Sometimes men think that these will cause an automatic erection when the medication is taken. So what these medications do is help with the dilation of the blood vessels, which feed blood into the penis and cause an erection. But these do not operate independently of stimulation. So if you're going to get an erection, you need either mental or physical stimulation in addition to taking the Viagra or Cialis. So it's important to remember these medications are not an automatic erection. Number three, it could be that the man has a low testosterone. We know that men with low testosterone or hypogonadism don't respond as well to this class of medications. So often I'll have men who aren't responding well, I'll check their testosterone and it's low. Not infrequently, especially for men with a borderline response, if we raise their testosterone to a normal level, they find they respond better to the medications. And last but not least, sometimes men have simply had their erectile dysfunction progress to such a state that it's not going to respond to oral medications. This is because the blood vessels feeding blood into the penis have become so narrow that they can't respond to these medications. But if this happens, there are still other options which are very effective, including penile injection therapy and penile implant placement. So if you're experiencing these issues with these medications, it's important to consult with a urologist and understand what your options are for your erectile dysfunction.